Hello, in this video I'm going to show you a quick tip on how you can get more power out of your car's USB port. This is a 2011 Hyundai Sonata, however it should work with pretty much any car, um, but I can't guarantee it and I can't take responsibility if you try this and something bad happens, so proceed with caution, but this is a 2011 Hyundai Sonata and it has a USB port for connecting an iPod or iPhone and uh, the problem with it is the USB port does not give very much power. Um, back when this vehicle came out, uh, the iPhone uh, was not very popular. It was meant more for iPods, uh, like the iPod Nano or something that doesn't use much power. So they designed the USB port to only put out, uh, I think it's about 500 milliamps. I should have brought my uh, multimeter with me to test. But, um, but yes, it, it, did not, it does not give enough power. So if you're using an iPhone and you're streaming music and you're not, you're using GPS and everything, it's going to use more power than what your vehicle is going to give off to charge. So your battery is actually going to be draining even though it's plugged in. Now you're thinking, well, you can just get one of those cigarette lighter adapters, and this is a pretty good one. This gives off uh, 2.4 amps. This will even charge an iPad. Uh, and this just plugs into your cigarette lighter. The problem with these are... Uh, yes, it will charge your phone very fast, but you're going to lose control of uh, the factory integration with your uh, radio. So what I found was I wanted to combine the power of the cigarette lighter adapter, but still retain the data of the USB from the car. So what I ended up doing was I got a USB Y cable, like this one here. Uh, I just got this on Amazon, and this takes uh, you know an input. Uh, or actually this is the output and these are the two inputs and these were popular back in the day when laptops uh, like if you had an external CD drive and your USB port didn't give off enough power you could plug in a second one and that would give it um, additional power so you can see there it says power uh, so between the two USB ports it just combines the power into one jack so what I'm going to do is connect uh, your uh, cable here for the additional power like that and then this one will plug into the factory connection and then you're going to need uh, an auxiliary cable a regular 3.5 millimeter will do and um, so we're going to plug that in like that and then you're going to need a little audio coupler like this and then these will plug into this cable here so I'm going to do that right now kind of doing this one-handed and uh, I'm going to plug that in like that and I'm going to plug this in and now you'll have something that looks like this and uh, I know this is kind of messy but you can you know kind of tie tie up your wires and organize them a little bit better and stuff them in there but now I actually have uh, I have the names on the screen I have sound and uh, as you can see the phone is charging and uh, I can't really prove uh, how much faster it's charging but when I tested with my multimeter in the past I was getting about an amp out of the uh, cigarette lighter adapter and then the 500 milliamps or half an amp out of the car so I was getting about 1.5 amps uh, which is a much faster charge for the phone and uh, I found this works a lot better the only downside I've run into is um, I think there's a grounding problem with uh, my vehicle as the auxiliary I get a lot of uh, buzzing so whenever you kind of accelerate um, or slow down like when the engine changes gears you hear kind of a rumbling noise um, however I was able to fix that with these little I think they're called like RFI uh, I'm not sure what they're called but they they just reduce that interference the, the buzzing and ticking noises so I put one of those on both this cable and I put one on the auxiliary cable and that seems to have reduced the buzzing um, it's really only noticeable like in between songs or if, it, if there's like a really quiet part in the song but other than that I found the solution works pretty well and uh, I hope this guy I hope this tip uh, helps you guys out for um, getting faster charging in your vehicles USB port